Hi, Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to discuss with you this book. It's about the drama of the high gifted child, high gifted adult, the very high intelligent, sensitive and creative person and the dilemmas there um, in your raising up and in your moods and in your way of being and also in your adult way of life and um, there's a lot of misconception about high highly intelligent and high gifted um, high gifted is something more special than high intelligent and then we go to 140 150 higher than that in EQ uh, but the highly gifted person is also very sensitive very creative and that makes him more kind of special than the high intelligent one um, I wrote also several articles blogs on my website kidofox.nl um, there is a lot of information also about high giftedness and it's a very interesting topic because that's a very short uh, special few percent of society who is very high gifted and uh, one of the things is that the high gifted person is very sensitive uh, very sensitive character he's picking up a lot of signals uh, from his uh, environment and that really can uh, can touch um, can touch himself or herself with with that so it's very good to understand this if you are a high gifted child or you have high gifted uh, children um, and then uh, you have to know that this person can be very sensitive and in the first page is very interesting also he can be also very, therefore, aggrieved, uh, mortified, gekrenkt in Dutch. He can be easily be aggrieved, mortified. So he can also easily uh, be, be hurted. He can be hurted easily. So a very sensitive, a sensitive being. And, and um, I was... In the past easily hurt and that's also an, a more deeper related ego identification uh, related uh, but now I am know that about myself that I'm very sensitive and pick up signals very fast and know how processes goes uh, by persons or organizations so I can see what's going to happen in a few years um, in in developments but i'm also know okay i'm very sensitive so i have to be careful about that but i am also easily hurted and now i know that for myself makes it more easily to deal with that okay i'm high gifted i'm very sensitive so I'm easily hurt okay that's the factor I can be hurt with that okay and I go to the next step or the next phase or so I'm more easily can let go uh, the hurting uh, the hurted feeling so um, it all starts uh, with know thyself what Socrates also said knowing yourself makes life more easier yeah, but that is what you see with high gifted people or adults or children uh, they can be hurt easily and, and can fire back immediately or later 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 about a few years when it is suppressed right so so heavily heavily damaged they can be offended easily and heavily uh, heavily damaged that is an interesting topic about high gifted people uh, what mentioned there um, on page nine uh, high gifted persons um, high gifted people 
Yeah, they had to be in the Matrix boring schools, right? I mean, my life was starting a little bit more interesting uh, when I did three studies uh, together in the university and did two masters and did my PhD on 26 years old. I was one of the youngest <coughs> of the Netherlands. So that it was wow interesting right different studies i had to do my planning um, i had to puzzle there so my life was starting interested when i was 22 23 and and did all the studies uh, together and before that i was was bored i was totally bored i was uh, doing finishing the task on school very easily and I, I did in, in, in one hour the job what people were doing in five hours and I, I remember that I, I remember that I was playing computer games uh, on, on school and and starting with doing that <clears throat> and, 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 and I was utterly bored actually and, and without actually being fully consciousness about my own boredom uh, I was thinking, oh, that is normal that you are bored. Uh, so you get used about your negative state of thinking, your negative way of doing, you're used to live in utterly misery, that you find it normal. Uh, and, and, and I was so bored also in, 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 in my relationship. Uh, I was bored in, 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 in the people where I was hanging around. They were so stupid, so dumb, so low social behavior in my, in my youth, uh, in, in the groups where I was in. And I was thinking, am I crazy or am I stupid? And, and later on, um, I was doing research about myself and I was stepping to a high gifted coach. And she said, you're a high gifted, you're a high gifted child. And then all the puzzles in my life were coming together and say, okay, this is what happened in my life. Therefore, I didn't feel comfortable in groups. There I, I, I created a fake personality. I will discuss that later with you. So in my life, it was later on it, it was clear what was happening with me and why i was difficult to find uh, people who were on my level of thinking and my level energetic level and my level of 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 doing um so there was a difficult path for me to to understand myself and also uh, what happened in uh, in my life and you're further than the rest. You're probably smarter than your teachers. Uh, and that makes also a difficulty there, not only with the people in your surroundings, but also with the relationship with your teachers, because you correct them <laughs> constantly and you're further, you're smarter. And, and that makes also the relationship with the people uh, who teach you uh, on, on a different, different level. And, and one of the things what high gifted children want to be, uh, and that's on page 13, is want to be respected. They want to take uh, themselves seriously from the outside world um, because they have a message. They can think, see things earlier than the rest. They can think in complex, multi-level thinking patterns. Um, and they see, they see things earlier, they see things, problems, what could arrive later, they can see and tackle already. Uh, and, and, and that makes um, uh, difficult because you said something in, 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 in school and people think, are you crazy or something? Or that's not the situation. And you are thinking already 10 to 20 steps uh, further. And uh, then you, uh, people don't take you seriously because you're already further than the rest. And there is, an, uh, is a miscommunication uh, with the people in your surroundings. And then the risk 
is there that you shut up your mouth and you become quiet because you think, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably I'm stupid because I'm, I'm thinking uh, other, other than the rest. Uh, so um, that makes me more hesitated uh, to put things out and to say things because, yeah, I don't want to lose uh, the connection with my friends and with the teachers. So what you see a lot of times uh, by high gifted people is that you uh, becoming more in, in the shame mood, in the shy mood, in, in the fear mood, uh, in the vain mood, in the please uh, behavioral patterns to search for that connection uh, with your relatives, with your families, with your friends. So you, you gonna go lower in your, in, in your level, lower in your energy to search for that uh, for that uh, for that connection and that brings you away uh, from from uh, take seriously eh? that's what you want because you have a message and that message has to be heard and then you create on page 18 a fake personality you you are so utterly bored that you uh, become uh, the clown, you become uh, the funny guy in the, cr in the group, the, the, the attention seeker in the group. Um, you're going to disturb groups because you're so utterly bored. Um, and you get the etiquette, you are um, unhandlebar, you're a difficult, uh, a difficult person. So people cannot come to your level, to your high intelligence level and they put an etiquette that you're a difficult uh, difficult person and that is all related uh, to the utterly miserable boredom where you are uh, you are in um, so that's a difficult life path right if you're high gifted because the matrix was not uh, not enough, uh, not enough for you. Uh, yeah, you were already further than the rest, and you had to sit there years and years and years, utterly bored in the school systems, and that can lead to very heavily personal disorders. Um, can create even borderliner, I think, borderliner patterns and symptoms and can lead also to heavily depressive um, disorders, um, narcissistic uh, disorders. That's an interesting one. I want to talk about you later. Um, so it can create heavily uh, distorted um, mental patterns um, because you were fitting not, you didn't get the energy and the food, the, the mental food in 10 years of lower school, two years in, in some little youth school, then eight years in the lower school, then six years in my case in the high school. So actually you were 16 years in not only the family system, but also in the school system. Actually, you're mental uh, abused. And there are heavily words uh, what I say now, but I think that is really true. You're mentally abused in those 16 years. And, and, and maybe also if you're very, very smart also in the university uh, system. Uh, but you're mentally abused and you have to recover from, from that. And, and, and that can make you a, a, a crazy person from the, from the outside world. But you're not crazy. You are mega, mega, uh, mega intelligent. Um, so there's a mismatch with, um, with the school system and, 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 and the surroundings. Um, whereby you are gonna hide 
your own real personality you hide yourself and that's also what this this women are saying in, in, in her book from you have to be searching for your true self uh, again and and what you want to want to bring in this world what's your purpose here on earth and what you want to reach in this in this society because you're different and the most high gifted people are here for a reason they're here on earth they put on earth if you look on the high spiritual level they put here on earth for a kind of reason they will they stand by the gods i gifted people sent by the gods and it's not one percent or three percent of society that's too high there there are zero zero one zero 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 two percent which people are only uh, extremely high gifted so because of the hiding personality you suppress personality you hide and you create a fake personality you create a fake personality you try to be like them you try to be as the crowd you pick some pictures in your surroundings and you adapt that behavioral patterns and you mix it a little bit and that's incorporated in your system and find to deal with that fake personality in the world because you don't want to lose your close surroundings and you want to stand up for yourself but that's not you that's not your real self you're very very smart to mirroring mirroring and adapt social behaviors and play a role because you can think what's the next steps and that makes is that you can incorporate different roles and play games uh, and and does not yourself so you create a fake personality so the risk because of the horrible youth you had um, is that you create depressiveness um, senseless senseless meaning life and also narcissistic patterns uh, the narcissistic patterns is from okay i have uh, more studies i did so much and you have nothing you have just one study uh, and and you create oh they don't understand me probably they are dumb and maybe that's really true uh, so i am further than the rest and you're not so you can create a uh, narcissistic patterns because you were aggrieved and mortified gekrenkt in your past and that's that you have to be aware of because uh, that makes you not happier uh, than before and not healthy not mental health than before uh, but then you stay on on the same low consciousness level right so it can create because of your hurting feelings of the mismatch from all those mental abusement in those years um, can create uh, aggrievement and mortified feelings but that doesn't justify that you becoming a narcissistic uh, narcissistic guy um, don't do that don't go into the feelings that you become uh, better than the rest you have a different development pattern in life huh? that is page 35 so school traumas office traumas as a high gifted person step over it step out the matrix um, get over it and move further because a lot of high gifted people are going from job to job to job to job and um, that makes your life not uh, easier um, so time for mourning time for tears time for recovery time for um, know what's going on with you that makes your life already more easier that i know that i'm high gifted child makes your life 
much more easier and know what's what's going on with me and what the past um, was done uh, for me too yeah? and if you're not mourning if you're not knowing about yourself you stay in the repetition compulsion and as I talked with the last video also with you about it repetition compulsion is that you step constantly in the same river right you're constantly step in the same hurting river uh, so with groups you feel offended you stay in the narcissistic patterns uh, you stay um, in in the isolation attitudes oh they don't understand me they're stupid i'm better i do more and you stay in that vicious uh, circle in the same river and the same hurting feelings and your life will you stay in in, 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 in misery so that's what you see repetition compulsion huh? um yeah loneliness um and, and and that's interesting topic a lot of high gifted people are feeling lonely because they cannot relate with others um a lot of times that's very funny people say yeah high gifted people are bad in 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 in, in working together are very bad in in in, in, in uh, uh work relationships but the fact is that they thinking 10 20 steps further than your colleague uh, so there's a mismatch there they can work amazing together with other people who are on the same level but not if it's, it's this kind of gap in intelligence uh, intelligence level so the matrix and all those psychology guys are saying yeah they cannot work easily together they're difficult that's not true you're not can find easily uh, matches um, with people on the same uh, on the same level uh, so also uh, you you can have feelings of loneliness and i had that so much in my life from the school systems where i was in and, and other systems i just did my job <laughs> but i felt very lonely and when i uh, on university this was the first time i had different schoolmates because i did three studies so i had different packages of knowledge but also more people right normal you learn from one study uh, you learn people and now i did three studies and i learned much more people uh, to know so it was for me more and more interesting and when i learned social day love with all those uh, different beautiful women i get more knowledge there from uh, psych and people but also a this very broad view about society and cultures and knowing different different people uh, so that makes makes my life very very interesting uh, there um and of course when i started my company i can read a lot of books and wrote a lot of different articles so um that's fulfilling my uh, brains more and more um so my lonely feelings were dissolved um uh, because i can uh, develop myself now but also i can relate with who i want to relate i have the freedom to choose my friends and colleagues uh, uh, i can choose with who i'm goes and that's that's a very very um, blessed bad because a normal guy has to go to the office and cannot choose the colleagues they have to deal with it right and i can choose with whom i go and that is uh, that is very worthful very worthful in my life um that is also can cost something right you can earn 100,000 euros per year or maybe a million um, but if you're stuck with colleagues who you don't like or you don't like the people in the company you're constantly affected by those people 
and, and, and you don't have really freedom because you're forced to work together with people who you don't like. I don't want to be here. I don't want to work together with you. Uh, so uh, especially with high gifted people, I always recommend to start for yourself because then you can really choose with whom you want to go. Uh, so the lonely feelings were disappearing uh, because of social day love, because of uh, the personal development circle where I was in, in Amsterdam. And also I can relate in my business with whom I want to go. And I attract clients who are on, my same, on the same level. Um, so loneliness is dissolving actually by high gifted people if they can have a bunch of uh, social abundance in your life and you're not stuck uh, with the same uh, with the same people in your surroundings uh, all the time um yeah a lot to tell right about about high giftedness <coughs> about what kind of things um there is there um, a very interesting uh, topic high gifted coaching uh, working with high gifted people they're complex and they have a lot of mood changes because of their complexity the impressions of the world they live very intense uh, so complex structures there and um, that makes their life more difficult in the matrix thank you for watching and i see you by the next book report bye bye